for my first ever college spring break trip. I'm so excited, and this is gonna be the prep vlog. All right, you guys, so as you can tell, I just popped myself full of caffeine. By the way, the Carmelicious from Scooters, literally the best coffee I've probably ever had. Ice with cold brew. I think I got, I got like vanilla sweet cream stuff on top. So good. But basically, that fueled me for today because I'm going to get my like same day passport in less than 24 hours. I'm supposed to leave for Mexico in like 48 hours, so it's a lot happening. I just got my suitcase out because we need to pack because like I said, I'm literally leaving tonight for Chicago and I gotta get all my stuff ready to go. But I just heard a little knock on the door and I think got a package. So hopefully it's all my spring break stuff. Just kidding y'all, you can tell I didn't wait to bust and do I got this a few days ago and I've been waiting because I wanted to do a haul on camera because I wanted to show you guys some like affordable spring break stuff because let's be real, college spring break can get really expensive. This video is not sponsored, they just gifted this amazing huge package and I'm really excited to open it because like I said, we're literally packing today, leaving today. So fingers crossed this stuff fits and is perfect. We're going to do a try on haul, so I'm going to set you guys up. Let's do a little mini swimsuit haul, why not, to start off this video. All right, so we're gonna hop right on into this haul because like I said, today is so chaotic. Okay, we're also just gonna do these like try on in the mirror, but follow me on Instagram. To see these swimsuits like actually on a beach like styled because I'm definitely gonna be taking so many Instagram pictures. Stormy wanted to say, hey, she's feeling a lot better now, right? Are you gonna let mommy film? Okay, so swimsuit number one. I'm really excited to see how this one looks on. I feel like it's gonna make me look tan. This is the top. It just has like, you could tie it around your neck. You could just loop it here to make it like strapless, which I'll probably do for tanning since I am going to Cancun. I don't know if I said that because the start of this video has been all over the place, but I'm going to Cancun. So I think this will be super cute. And then the bottoms look like this. They're pretty tiny, but I think that will be like very fitting for a Mexico trip. So let's go try this on. All right, so here is the first swimsuit on. I definitely would have sized up one. I feel like the top is a little tight, and so are the bottoms, like, on my hips. But if I just kind of, like, pull them up, it works out. But I think the actual colors are super duper cute. I really love, like, the blue and the peach and everything. I think it'll be super flattering. And it's pretty cheeky, but I think it's, like, appropriate and good for the trip I'm going on. So, yeah, definitely a fan of this one. Alright, so next up for the next swimsuit, I'm really excited about this one, especially after I'll probably wear this not on the first day, so I can have a little bit of a tan, but you guys can see it looks like this, it like comes up across your chest. I feel like this is super unique, I love like Shein swimsuits because they do have just like so many unique ones, so this is the top. And then the bottoms are, again, pretty cheeky, but they're these, like, pink, and they have this dip, which, like, we're not messy with swimsuits anymore that don't, like, arch up over the hip. It's so much more flattering, so let's get to try this one on. Okay, shut up. This is, like, my favorite swimsuit I've ever tried on. Like, how cute is this top? So adorable. Pink bottoms. I'm definitely, definitely bringing this one. I love this, like, funky strap thing. I think it's super duper flattering. You guys can kind of see it as a whole. I'm obsessed. This is 100% coming with eek and the bottoms are like super stretchy so I definitely think this one like if anything size down because I'm probably a little big for a small but I just accidentally still order it out of like old habit but I really really like this and I think it fits perf so ah, I cannot wait to wear this in Mexico. This one 10 out of 10 stars like you need to get this swimsuit if you're gonna get one. Okay, this one's still in the bag. I'm unbelievably excited for this one. It's giving like designer-esque vibes, like just like fancy girl vibes. So it's this like grid print one piece, ties around my neck. Oh, like how cute is that? The back looks like so. I'm literally so excited to get the most iconic beach pics in this. Okay, I am obsessed with this one piece. I am 100% taking this. It's super duper cute. I will say there's like nothing like really keeping it here so i wouldn't wear it for like any sort of water activity because it's like completely open on the side if you can see but i think that that's really really cute for one piece it makes it like more fun whereas like sometimes i don't know one pieces can look a certain way and i think that this keeps it like young and fresh also i don't want to like show you my booty but the bag's open so that's super cute and i think like would be really 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 pretty for pictures so yeah definitely 10 out of 10 on this suit the like actual um print of it is so 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 nice and i love that it's like velvety feeling 
Okay, moving in to the next swimsuit. This one's a three-piece. It comes with a skirt. I'm a big three-piece girl. I didn't, I'd never tried that trend until last spring break, actually, when I just went on like a mini trip with my friend. It wasn't like a big college spring break moment or anything, but I felt so confident just because you can like put these on like, I don't know. I just like that you can wear these more high-waisted, whereas bottoms, a lot of them aren't. These are the bottoms. Again, they definitely, they got the hint with the like high hip stuff. So we have these smiley faces, and then this is the top, just like a super basic triangle top, but y'all know I love smiley face stuff, and I also love pink, so I just feel like this swimsuit like had to be mine. Like, this was kind of like low-key meant to be, I would say. Also, I need to like look at pictures, because these straps look interesting. Oh, okay, I think it goes like this. I don't know, y'all will see in the try-on. Let's go try this on and figure this out. Okay, so this one is very cute on. I think this top is so fun. I love the like cross detailing. I think that's super funky. Again, I'm seeing that like a lot in swimsuit trends right now, but I'm really here for it. The bottoms are really cute. Definitely would have sized up again. They just kind of like squeeze in here, but again, I probably just would get a medium and I probably just should have got a medium, but overall, I'm still going to wear this. I think it looks super duper cute and the actual print itself is fine. Let's throw the skirt on. Sorry, I need to clear my throat. I'm going to clear my throat and <laughs> put the skirt on. Okay, wait, I'm obsessed with this skirt. I think I'm definitely gonna pack this skirt. I didn't really know how I felt about it because it was kind of like circle skirt vibes, but like this for a picture, so, so, so stunning. I love that I can just like wear it high-waisted. That's like kind of what I prefer to do, especially for like little pictures for Instagram. It's like a little more covering and oh, this is just so fun. I can't wait. So yeah, I can show you the back since I have a skirt on now. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, next swimsuit is another pink one. I've really been in my pink moment lately, and I'm definitely gonna try and channel that on this trip. Even with like the outfits I still have to pack, I also have dresses that are supposed to come, and if they don't come before I leave, I'm gonna be so sad. But first up, I have this heart top. It like looks funky off, you guys will see how I put it on. But look how cute those hearts are. I've seen this trend like everywhere for the past two years, and I never got anything with it, so I'm really here for it. Also, my favorite kind of bottom is a string bikini bottom because no matter the day it's gonna fit you, like whether I'm like bloated or like not bloated or whatever, like you can just adjust it for you. So super duper cute. Let's go definitely see how this fit. All right, so here is this swimsuit. I figured out how to put it on. I had to look at the picture online, but it's so cute. This might be my favorite. Honestly, I just always feel confident in string bottoms because they're never gonna like squeeze my skin so there's like skin falling over if that makes sense or like I don't know that's natural but with string bottoms you can like make them as loose as you want I love the tie top I think that is such a cute little detail it's all one string so it goes up your neck and then it crosses in the back and you can see like there it ties again I don't want to flash you my booty or anything but really really cute okay so next swimsuit first up we have these bottoms sorry I'm trying to see which way they go I love the blue and white this is gonna make me look so tan and it's giving like very islandy girl vibes and then I'm really excited for this top I haven't had like a push-up top in forever this isn't like push-up but it actually has like a cup and like slight padding which I just think is really flattering personally so I like when swimsuits have that but it has like a necktie and then you tie this part around your body and it's just like this really dainty, pretty flower print. All right, so here is this swimsuit. I think I wanna size up on the bottoms, but it's so cute. I love, love, love these colors, the like blue and white. Very much so here for it. Love the tie, of course. The back has like all these ties. I definitely think when I have like this white color against my tan like a few days into vacation, I'll be really here for it. But yeah, definitely would have sized up on these, like I said, I just like when it like squeezes there, but I do like them, so love. Okay, next up is this swimsuit, which you guys will see how this goes on. I believe it's like in around the neck one. I don't really remember. I'm gonna look at the picture, but it's tiger print Mizzou. I just thought I would have like my college I go to now, so that would be cute. And then the bottoms actually have a little bit more coverage. They're a bit bigger and they have that like hip thing still so love that for us and my favorite part of the whole thing is that they have this like tiger mesh skirt okay this one is so cute on obviously you guys know I love a good skirt I think it's so fun but this top you could tie tons of ways because it just has like this really long string if you guys can see I could probably also like do a crisscross here if I want to but the skirt's adorable I love that it has this scrunch and it's like super loose 
So there's definitely room to eat like all my all-inclusive meals, period. We are simply running through these swimsuits. I'm really excited. But next ones, we have these tie bottoms, which have these flowers on them. I say these ones are the most like me colors. And then the top is so cute. Again, they're all kind of hard to show. Not on the body, but just like super adorable. I got all of these in a size small, I believe. So I'll definitely be keeping you updated throughout this, like how the sizing fits. But look how cute this little sarong is. I'm obsessed. It's mesh and you just tie it. And this is going to be, I'll probably wear this with like more than just this swimsuit because I think this is so cute. Okay, this one's show stopping. I'm obsessed, of course. I think it's really just like I feel so confident in string bottoms. But this pattern is so, so, so cute. The top you could like tie a bunch of ways. I just did a super simple for this try on haul, but I'll probably try out some different things like on the trip. This one's 100% coming with. I feel really good about it. Not going to show you the back, but it's very cheeky, very comfortable. So, yay. I seriously am obsessed with this pattern. I feel like it's just like so girly. Okay, I almost forgot to show you it with the little skirt thing. So, you're kind of like... Wrap it in the front and have the back open or like leave a little piece of this open. Okay, next up I got this top which I could either wear poolside or I'll probably wear if we go like out. It's like this crochet top. There's pink, there's green. I had to figure out how to put this on. I've said that for all of these, but I'm loving like all the different like cross top trends. Okay, here is this top. I think I'll probably wear this for like going out. I would definitely like layer it with this one too. I kind of actually like it with this. You know, the colors are kind of weird. I think this cut's really flattering together, but I'll definitely like wear like some like high-waisted shorts or something with it, but it's really, really, really cute. All right, guys, so for the next swimsuit, this is one of those like wrap tops you'll see in a second, but it's this really pretty blue and like purple flower print. I don't have any swimsuits in this color, so I'm very intrigued. And then the bottoms are super duper cheeky and super high-waisted. They're literally like this, so... We'll see if they're like have enough coverage to show on camera. Okay, you guys, so here is this one. I love this one way more than I expected. I always find that tops that like have this high neck thing are very flattering on my body type because I have kind of a short torso, so it kind of like brings it up, but I am loving this. The bottom is really nice. Also, I've been like sending my um, best friend like pictures of the different swimsuits and she had a really good point. Like these just look like really thick, nice quality and I totally agree, like I'm very, very impressed with this. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. Okay, this next swimsuit is like my dream suit. And this is what I was like waiting for this package to come. So we have these puff sleeve top, which I just think is so adorable, so girly. And then the bottoms are high-waisted, which it's always good for me to bring like a high-waisted bottom or two, especially for days where I'm just feeling like a little less confident or a little bloated or just like not me, even though there's actually like no reason to feel that way but like we're girls you guys get me there's just days where you're not feeling your best and high-waisted bottoms because make me feel more confident so why not wear them i love this one because it has this tie so like this with this puff sleeve top is going to be so 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 like girly and just like fairy like and uh. guys this might be my favorite swimsuit in this whole haul just because it's like so sweet looking i love the puff sleeves so 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 on trend and i love the tie because i really like my belly button to be covered so i can kind of do that with this tie Oh, I'm obsessed. I'll definitely be wearing this. I'll be wearing this all summer. Like, I can't. I just think this is so fun. It's so different. And the puff sleeves just make me feel like, ah, in my moment. I'm like, Eloise at Christmas time takes on summer. Okay, I'm gonna start rushing through this because we got a lot to do, guys. And I still have more suits. Like, she literally gifted me the most spoiled package ever. But first up, I have this strapless top. Obsessed with this pattern. I love the pink, of course. And then a high-waisted bottom. Again, definitely always like to pack a few high-waisted swimsuits for trips just to feel my best. Okay, so here is this swimsuit. I really love the way this fits. Like I said, always feel confident and high-waisted. I love this little tie aspect on the top because sometimes like this in-between space can just seem like kind of bland. So I love the huge bow. Very comfy, very flattering. Definitely will like wear this one a lot throughout the summer. All right, we are hustling because the day is getting going, but I'm really excited for this green suit. So the top has these like frilly pieces. It has straps. So adorable the back is tie which is great because it will just like be more likely to fit you more accurately i feel like and then i got these bottoms with it which are again like super duper cheeky we'll see if i can show them on camera i want to get no i don't want to get demonetized um but very very cute lime green love it okay this one is so cute on oh, this one definitely fits perfect i feel very confident in this i love the top i love the little ruffles definitely doing it for me um i'll definitely like this color on me more i think when i get my tan 
I'm like a fake tanner. It's nothing about the swimsuit. Just like me and I'm not really fake tanned right now. So I need some actual like real sun Mexico tan. But once I have that, I'll wear this probably like the third day. So cute. It's very cheeky, but I love this one. Okay, last swimsuit I think. And then we have a cover up. So I have this top. My sister said this is giving Minecraft. I think it's giving like beach girl vibes. Comment down below which one you're seeing from this. But it's this really cute checkered print top. Really cute checkered print bottoms. And then lastly, this like mesh checkered skirt. All right, you guys. So here is this suit on. Obsessed with this top. Actually, one of my like favorite, most flattering tops. I'm definitely going to pack this. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not even going to like fully show the bottoms. But they're way too tight and just make me feel like not my favorite. So I would size up in this swimsuit just purely for the bottoms. But the skirt's really cute. So like I'm going to wear it with other of like these bottoms I've tried on I know it's a mess right now and then I'll wear the top and the skirt I just don't really think these bottoms fit me I definitely need a medium so yeah but the top and skirt so 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 cute I keep saying cute but like there's no other word for it <laughs> all right so lastly I got this cover up which I am so excited about this has been one of my favorite colors so it's this green dress the back like cinches around your bootay and I think it's gonna be tight it has like these sleeves I love this like ring thing in the middle. All right, so here's the last thing. It's this green dress. This is gonna be so, so, so cute for either dinner, going out, or even just wearing as a cover up to the beach. I love that it's mesh. This is the back. It like cinches around you, so super duper cute. And I've seen this like all over Instagram the past year. And so now I'm finally happy on the trend. All right, so thanks, Gina, for those fun gifts. Definitely a fun way to kick off this video. And we are going to go start packing. I'm waiting. I'm going to get passport pictures with my friend Kate, which you're going to see in this vlog. So in the meantime, while I wait, we are going to get packing because I definitely have plenty of that I could do. All right, guys, my sister's also up. I didn't say that. She's just up for the afternoon before I leave for Chicago. You can see this fat stack of the tire and stuff behind me that needs to be packed. Okay, I thought we were going to pack, but we're actually having a little brief intermission moment because we're going to Chipotle. We're starving and we also need to go pick up a package just got delivered with all my dresses because every single night in my hotel is like formal dinner. Stay tuned because I'm going to have a separate video with a haul of trying on all of those dresses but I'm very excited about it. So I just changed into this really casual little sweater and sweatpants fit. It's pouring rain so I thought that this would work. I kind of tucked it up a little bit into my sports bra just to give myself slight dimension but yeah we're going to go stop get those things, grab some lunch, and then hopefully we'll have some time to pack before we head to get the passport pictures, but if not, we're actually on a pretty good time scale now, because now all I have to do is print out all the stuff for my passport appointment and the things I just, I just said. I'm blabbing because I'm kind of all over the place if we can't tell, but let's go get some good food. All right, we got to Chipotle, just picked up our lunch, our little last meal before she heads home and I head to Chicago. Alright you guys, so checking in, you saw we went to Chipotle and FedEx. I'm really quick getting ready to print out all the stuff I need to like prove my identity type thing for Chicago since we're doing that passport appointment and if I have time, I'm gonna start packing but I don't really know. Ooh, also, all my Princess Polly stuff is here. The package is right, it says cute things are inside and there was in fact cute things inside. Stay tuned because I'm gonna do a full haul of all the stuff when I get back from Mexico, but it's literally basically my clothes for dinner each night, so we love that. Houston, we have an update. Did I want to come on the screen? My sister is headed home. Kate decided she's gonna drive to Chicago, so I'm gonna send her back to St. Louis with my car, and she's taking little Mitt. She's about to freak out because she just saw her carrier, but I'm gonna miss Stormy so much while I'm on vacation. It's a needed break for them. <laughs> oh, mommy, we'll see you so soon. This is her cute carrier, guys. Hold her so she doesn't get out. Right. Look how cute this is. It has little kitties on it. Are you ready to go home, baby? Let's see grandma. All right, you guys, so update. It's been a second for y'all, but forever for me. I went and got my passport photo done. That's why I changed into a black top because they told me to wear. I'm literally about to leave in like 40 minutes. I just spent the last hour filming out like all this information that I have to give the passport agency tomorrow. Just heated up some pizza because I got Little Caesars last night and I'm gonna eat really quick. And then I have to quick, literally throw my suitcase together. This is a crazy day. <laughs> okay, you guys. So these are all clean clothes that never got folded. This is a bag of dresses I'm bringing. And this is all the stuff I tried on in the earlier part of this video. And now we have like 10 minutes to pack. So 
we gotta do what we gotta do bada bing bada boom this is my suitcase it's really cute it's like this cream color i was gonna put stickers on it every time i traveled but that was kind of like when stickers were a little more of a thing but comment down below if i should start covering everything in stickers again because honestly i feel like i had a lot of stare to my hair up okay I don't know if I'm taking this suitcase or carry-on, but I'm gonna bring this one home because it's the same price, so I'm like, do I just enjoy it? Yeah, okay, now first we gotta do, so I have Sunday. Sunday's the first day, I need a swimsuit when I get there. So let's say swimsuit number one. Suit number one, right? And then we need like a dress for dinner. So let's get this stuff out. This is really just turning so chaotic so fast. Let's say the first night at dinner, I just like pop the heck off because I'll probably wear makeup to the airport and I wear my lion nest dress. Day one, I'll get PJs and stuff like that later. This will just be like the main fits. So second day, let's say Monday, I wanna bring two swimsuits for Monday. So I know I'm bringing this swimsuit, so I might as well pack this. Da -da -da. Should I like do a time lapse of this or talk? I don't know, what do y'all want? I never washed these swimsuits either. You know what, I actually recently had a TikTok about this. I wish I was like one of those clean girls, but things just like genuinely do not gross me out and that's my problem like i'm always like mm, it's fine it's probably not but mm, it's fine okay that will be monday's cover up this will be a monday night dinner dress so cute talk to you guys since I packed last night. We drove to Chicago and then we took a train to the city this morning. So we're in the city now. Um, we are headed to go to print something for our passport appointment. Hopefully last find minute. coffee. Yeah, a little last minute moment. And then our appointment's in like 30 minutes. So we Wish pray. us luck. Wish us luck. <laughs> okay, update time. It's been like one minute for you. It's actually been like 75 years of panic <laughs> for us. And also the wind's probably super loud. This is the building we were in. A lot went down. First and foremost, we went in. Oh, we didn't update in a long time. Kate didn't have her social security card. We didn't know if we needed it. We go to FedEx. We're panicking because we're like, someone's gonna steal her identity. And then we were like, <laughs> we don't care. We have to go to Mexico. We have to just do it. Maybe it's this. Yeah. Subway? No, we're, we're trying to find it. No, it's a bus. bus right now. And then <laughs> Kate realizes. Get some brunch. She, she's trying to get some aesthetic brunch. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> We realized that Kate doesn't have her photo. She left it in the car. So we had to go to Walgreens 15 minutes before our appointment that you cannot be late to to get her passport photo done. We got it, it though. Turns out it cut my head off. They cut her head off. Board. They didn't say anything in here though. But we got here. We were panicking. Panicking. Every worker here was yelling at me for panicking, but I had to panic. It was necessary. And then I had pepper spray on me. <laughs> And so then I was like, I'm the going to jail. Period. Like, I'm literally going to jail right now. And then it was fine. We panicked for like an hour upstairs. It probably was actually like 10 minutes, but it felt like 12 hours. Yeah. And we got approved. We're getting our passports. We're actually we're going, going to Mexico. Mexico. So you'll actually get a Mexico <laughs> vlog now. But right now we're trying to find a static brunch since our panic of the day has passed. We're just gonna enjoy our day. We pick it up oh, in like yeah. two hours, so. <laughs> Spot. We're gonna go to York. All right, I got an ice salted caramel coffee. This is gonna heal my day. All right, we finished lunch and we are going shopping. Wait, this is so cute. Obsessed. 
All right, you guys, so update time. We got lunch at the Yoke, and now we walked over to the mall because we didn't go to Zara. It's currently two o'clock. We can pick up our passports around three or four-ish, so we're just killing time. I'm charging my phone while Kate tries on clothes from the beach at Zara. It's my phone. It's about to die. That's how today's going. All right, you guys, so update time. It has been a fat minute since I checked in. I literally do not even remember the last time that I checked in, but basically yesterday after we went shopping, we ended up going back to the passport agency. Had to show you guys because I'm like on a cliffhanger. I got my passport, so I will be doing my Mexico content and trip. It's actually happening, so very excited about that. We had that whole situation, and then we went back shopping. Took the train back to the suburbs, drove home. It was craziness, so I didn't vlog because I was just like so exhausted. Got back here like last night and this morning. We woke up, me and Kate are here, and then we're leaving for Mexico in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this like spring break prep vlog here. I'm gonna be putting on my Instagram stories like, if I don't go get my nails done. I have to go buy like toiletries and different stuff. So I'll probably vlog on TikTok and my Instagram story. So I'm gonna check both of those out if you want to like see more but tons of fun stuff coming since this actually worked out so very happy about that but hope you guys enjoyed like the try and haul the beginning of this video and being part of the behind the scenes of all this i know i didn't get good footage of it but honestly it was like the most stressful day ever so i wasn't really thinking too much about filming but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video mm -hmm, baby shampoo and come and save me i've been missing lady look ever since she started hating i've been waking up